Srimad Bhagavad Gita takes Jnana Yoga, the Yoga of Knowledge, Bhakti Yoga, the Yoga of Devotion, and Karma Yoga, the Yoga of Action. And Yoga really, ultimately when you realize, is skill, is the focus, is the one-pointedness. So, if you're doing bhakti, you have to be focused, you have to be one-pointed. If you're doing action karma, you have to be focused, you have to be one-pointed. If you're seeking knowledge, jnana, you have to be focused, you have to be one-pointed. Again, it's discipline, it's tapasya, it's the commitment, it's what we have in any human relationship. Um, we want it to work. And for it to work, Yoga, the literal meaning of the word yoga is to unite, is to yoke with. So you have to find, how do I connect? What do I want to unite with? Of course you want to unite with that divinity within yourself. And thus to everyone else through the connection within yourself. And so uh, if we understand yoga in that way, then it's not a thing that has to be performed on the outside or done on the outside. The outside is simply a means, a way to go inside. So bhakti also, though we are doing all of the actions on the outside, really it is how I should feel on the inside. Karma actions is what I'm doing on the outside, yet the karma will really bear fruit when the feeling of love, of serving, of offering comes from within. So if somebody's cooking for somebody else, they feel, okay, it's, you know, um, what I have to do. No, it's not what you have to do, it's what you are offering. Baba Muktananda often talked about the Lord's Club, that one day you're the watchman at the gate, one day you're the cook, one day you're the chairperson. And so in this club, you have to play different roles. So you have to accept each role with love. So that's karma yoga. And then jnana yoga is where you have come to the realization, I am the self. I am knowledge. Everything is the self. Everything is divinity. So really, in the Gita, Lord Krishna has tried to share with Arjuna, and of course to all of us, that don't be limited in your thinking. Don't be small. Don't be, um, you know... Uh, Minute-minded, as I think I would be expanded. And then in the 11th chapter, he touches Arjuna, gives him Shakti path, and gives him the divine eye, as it says. And then he sees Krishna in all these forms. Because he sees it with a limited mind, he's scared, he's filled with fear. He thinks, oh my God, Krishna is all this, the self is all this. So he says, take away this vision, take away this vision, because I cannot handle the magnitude of this vision. So really yoga is that. It's not being small, it's not being limited, it's being able to say, okay, it's possible. So it's the mantra we use here often, it's possible. We can do it. And so if we can live life with that attitude, you're doing yoga. A yoga is happening.